<coughs> All right, guys. Go to Boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting out here in the Freedom Shack, and then, <laughs> ironic as it is, I am experiencing a horrible cold right now, and I'm getting ready to review the Olight from China. Check it out. So anyway, uh, this is the M2R Warrior Deliberate Tactical Operational. This is the limited edition, and it is in OD green, as you can see right there. So uh, how how many different times can you review a flashlight? Well, I'm going to tell you. Uh, they asked us to do some torture testing, and one of the things that I did on one of the previous Olight commercial flashlight review things that I did, uh, I froze it. Hence, what you're seeing right here. This is a block of ice. And look here. Here's the tail switch. And guess what? <laughs> look at that, man. Hold on one second. Isn't that cool? That's like one of those lights. You can take it, well, skiing with you or whatever you want to do. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go over here. This is really cool. Piece of block. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Da, da, da. Wish I could get it strobing inside that thing. That's pretty, pretty cool. But anyway, froze it overnight. I just wanted to do something different than just your regular old uh, flashlight review. So let's talk about this. And the M2R, Deliberate Tactical, has a 300 meter throw. I can verify that. I've seen it. 1800 max lumen output. And this guy features the high voltage 500 milliamp, 21700 lithium ion battery included, delivering a maximum output of 1800 lumens with a throw of 300 meters. Charge directly through the tail switch. You guys have seen one of those things, the little thing. We'll open up the box. I'll take it over here behind me on the table. Charge directly through the tail switch, the USB. Uh, Crenelated strike bezel, three dimensional out faces. All right, guys, I'm going to put the link down below, but let me just go ahead and enter. This thing normally runs $119, it's on sale for $79. Uh, the tail switch is sold separately, but without the tail switch, look at that. That's kick ass. Um, 1800 lumens, 7500 lumens, 2500. Uh, that's on the turbo mode. It does have all the cool wells and whistles. You go ahead and click it once, hold it down, and it'll go through all the modes. Double tap it, it will go into the turbo mode, and then triple tap it, it'll do the strobe, as they always do. Now, in the box, in the box, what's in the box? You do get a carrying case. There's the carrying case right there, as you can see. And also, you get this bad mamma jamma. Uh, you get the charging cable. Now this one comes with the red tip charging handle cable thingy right there. I've used just about everything there is. But let's go ahead. Also, there is a lanyard loop in here. And of course, that's going to be my wife calling me. Hold on one second. Nope. That's my ranger brother. Okay, so let's do this real quickly. I am going to... Break this thing open. We're going to put it on to the... I'm always dropping stuff. Let's go ahead and grab a hammer over here. I got a towel. My wife finds out that I'm using this towel right here. I am taking the Olight flashlight. There it is, guys. See it? And we're going to put it in a towel right here. And... Ta-da! As you can see, there it is. Frozen in all its glory. Check it out. So the, one of the cool things, yeah, that tail switch is completely frozen solid. We may have to let this guy thaw out a little bit, but let's take a photo of it real quickly so we can put it on Instagram. That's pretty cool. There's the tail switch. She's frozen solid inside that thing. There we go. But it's, look at that. Even though, well, no, nope, it probably lost its seal. And it's having trouble. All right, so let's do this. Will the switch work? Yeah, the switch does work. There it goes. Come on, press it. Let's make it work. And it's telling me the battery's dead. All right, so let's take a picture of it real quick, and we'll do the tabletop. Stand by. All right, guys, so here we are, man. A little closer look at this guy. Uh, I've done field reviews on these things, taking them out and showing you how they look out the distance. This guy's no different. The uh, beam setting, you've got a little light right here on the button that goes green but you can hold that thing down different light settings one two three and then double tap go to turbo mode triple tap and we're dancing oh yeah oh yeah but in any case uh wanted to do something just a little bit different from the normal testing but i will tell you this really cool light you you can get the uh tail switch for it right here i think it just it just wants watch this watch this it's pretty cool 
Hold on. Boom. Let's do that again. That was fun. Let's do that again. That was fun. All right. It will hold on to it. You probably could use a little zip tie around here just to make sure it doesn't come loose. It does come with the tail switch right here. You can put it on momentary, bright. You can push it on all the way. It goes right into the turbo mode. Click it off right there. Opening it up, you've got a switch on the front, switch on the back. Again, here's a rechargeable battery. Just like that, we've got the 21700 500 milliamp battery. You can take the top off. You also can take this clip off right here, and it does have the pick rail attachment adapter sold separately that you can put on your firearm. Uh, anodizing looks really cool, man. I'm actually digging how the color looks. And uh, it's just one of those things. So, anywho, uh, yeah, $79. 99 on sale right now down from that now i'll put the links down below also I'll put the details there's some other things if you spend more than 99 dollars, you can get a bunch of cool stuff in any case that's it this is my official review of this guy right here the olight m2r warrior pro that is a it's actually a very handsome light but uh, that being said god bless america who are sick with the coronavirus but uh, you know what it means 24 7 for our freedom because freedom is not free Ooh, there you go.